today we're going to build this. A database that stores our user consents. We'll use Cloudflare to create the database and then use FinSuite cookie consent to send consents to the database. We'll use the FinSuite components Webflow app to make it happen. This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up consent storage for your website. Let's do it. That's effing sweet. Every time somebody says, I accept cookies, we are going to store that action or consent. This step is only required if you want a fully GDPR compliant website. We'll be storing our consents in Cloudflare using their free account. You can store consents anywhere in any database. And we use Cloudflare because they have a free plan and that will work for most of you. First, make a Cloudflare account on cloudflare.com by clicking the sign up button. You can select the free account here and continue with your sign up. You may see this welcome page like I'm seeing right now. And if you do, go ahead and click on explore all products to go to the dashboard. Click on workers and pages in the left sidebar menu. And then click create worker. Name your project and I'll name this one cookie consent. Save. And then finish. Here in the top right, I'll click edit code. And you can see a code editor where we can write JavaScript. We'll remove this placeholder code here and then copy paste the FinSuite cookie consent code snippet that we created for you. Here in the cookie consent documentation, I'll go to store consents and this is a code snippet ready for Cloudflare. I'll copy it and then paste it here in the worker.js file. We'll click deploy and then confirm with save and deploy. Now let's add a KV. Before we go over this, let's talk about what a KV is. KV is a data storage that allows you to store and retrieve data globally and create powerful APIs. And that's exactly what we are doing by storing consents and creating this KV. I'll write cookie consent KV in the namespace and click add. Great. Now let's go to workers overview over here in the left sidebar menu, and let's go into the worker that we created earlier and then click on the settings tab. We'll click variables, scroll down the page and click add binding. I'll give variable name a value of consents and then select the KV namespace that we created earlier. All of our consents will be stored in this database and then I'll click deploy. Great, now we're deployed. Now let's get our API endpoint and continue with the setup. Now we can get this API endpoint by right clicking on this visit button. I'll select copy link address. And this is the API endpoint that we need to add to FinSuite components. So let's go back into Webflow inside the FinSuite cookie consent tool, paste the URL in the endpoint URL field, and make sure you always copy the complete URL here with the HTTPS parameters. It looks like this. The domain field is optional and only suggested for advanced use only. We're okay with only adding the endpoint URL in this tutorial. So now let's click on update component, select yes, and there we go. Now let's test it to make sure that it works. Let's publish our project and watch our stored consents in action. All right, let's click on accept here in the cookie consent banner. And this acceptance should be stored in Cloudflare. That's exactly what we're doing here. So let's go back to the Cloudflare dashboard. We can go to the workers and pages section, click on KV, and I'll click view on the namespace we created. There it is, there I am. That was the acceptance we just made on the website. Every user that accepts consents will be stored in this database, giving you all the resources and tools to be GDPR compliant. If we click on this view on the item, you'll see all the details of the consent that was submitted, the IP of the user, the browser, domain, and which cookie categories the user consented to. That's it. Now you are storing consents from your website right inside Cloudflare. And if there's ever a GDPR related issue with your website, 
you can download these consents from Cloudflare and deliver it to the authorities if requested. You are now on the right path to being GDPR compliant by storing your consents. FinSuite Components is always free with your Webflow.io staging domain. We'll never charge you to test and build your components. When you're ready to go live, get a subscription to publish to production. You are one step closer to building next level components inside your Webflow project. You can download FinSuite Components in the Webflow Apps Marketplace, and those links are in the description below. Go to finsuite.com slash components to learn how we can help you succeed with Webflow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about how to build awesome websites in Webflow. Thank you.